Well, hello there, in my nice swivelly chair. Um, you'll have noticed that if you haven't seen anywhere else, um, I've started a new series of uh, YouTube videos uh, here on YouTube, funny enough, um, called Nuke for 3D Artists. Um, the thinking behind that is, I've worked a lot of places over the last few years, um, as either a lead or as a senior or whatever, you know, or a supervisor. Um, and now a lot of the time I notice that 3D guys, more so those that are early, earlyish on in the careers, in the first 10 years, uh, there are things they're not aware of that are really easy to do in Nuke that don't mean re-rendering a scene. Now if you're in production, that's a massive time saver. And I think I said in one of the comments in reply to Mark, um, I realised that it would be a crime not to pass on some of the new ways of doing things that I've came up with and also some of the old ways that people might not be aware of and sometimes not even know why they need it. So, the plan is this. Bearing in mind, at this current time, there's... In fact, I can't exactly check because the mouse is over there. Um, there's about eight videos already recorded. These will be a mix uh, sort of small project based ones, um, short ones on a particular technique or thing that you may find useful so that if you need to give it a speed, say like the first one, the shuffle mode, boom, you've got a video there that will cover it in a, a few couple of minutes, right? Um, it's a similar sort of idea that I did with the quick start videos for Mudbox back in 2009 and 2010, uh, but with this I'm going to be following a path that will get more complex as we go on. Okay, now the one thing I will be short of eventually is 3D scenes because it may surprise you or not that um, over the last what four years I haven't created a lot of 3D that I can actually use. It's all been for either films, TV, uh, well known computer games, uh, clients, stuff like you know, the stuff I do for Chaos Group at the moment. I can't share that. Right, even though you could download some of these scenes and stuff and things that you know I may have worked on or not, um, I can't use those in these videos. It's completely separate from any client I may work for right now or in the future. This is just me, right? One of the reasons for that is it gives me absolute control over the content, um, and it means I can be my irreverent self and take the Mickey a bit now and again and make it a little bit more entertaining. And now I, I'm fully aware that I'm probably going to get the old I'm sorry we can't understand you which is amazing when there's people uh, where English is their fourth language and they never get that but yes I know my accent is extreme but unfortunately this brain comes in this body that lives in this area so if you want the things in this head which uh, some of you do then this is the wrapping it comes in uh, so yeah I'm also going to be I'm going to be uploading these on a Monday at about three o'clock GMT and a Wednesday, three o'clock GMT. Now the first two months are taken care of obviously because I've been recording yesterday and a little bit this morning because I've got a week off at the moment from the Chaos Clip stuff. Um, I'm also going to intersplice them with these videos, which is sort of like a, a video blog, not like the old Winkasts because uh, that was always a character that I was playing, but more what's in development. Um, what might be coming next, uh, things like that, uh, what's going on in my personal life, uh, things like that. You just take a blog to keep a record. Now, at the moment, my personal life, yesterday was my daughter's eighth birthday. Now, if you're a, uh, a father or a mother, uh, you know that um, kids change your life a lot. Um, in good ways and bad ways, funnily enough. Nobody ever talks about that. But it does seem like it's flew over. It seems like it's been eight years, but also not eight years, if that makes any sense. So on Sunday we have her big proper birthday party, which is going to be fun, full of screaming eight-year-old girls. Um, but, you know, kids are worth it. I've also, at the moment, I've had to make these videos, with, I've done the shouldering, right? Don't ask why, it's quite embarrassing, but um, at the moment I'm getting shooting pain right away from there, all the way down to my elbow and to my wrist, and if I leave my arm on the arm of a chair for too long it starts getting really fucking painful now yes i should go and see a doctor about that and it is in my plan for next week I'm fitting it round all the other stuff so you know we'll see what happens but i want to give people a bit of a heads up on what's going on uh, with these videos and you know 
that I do have a long-term plan. The way I used to do it years ago was I would sit there and go, oh, I have an idea for a video, and I'd make the video. There was never a long-term plan of an order of these things, where this one, I meant to do this two years ago, but life got in the way and work got in the way. Um, and I just never got around to it. Plus, I've had to be careful sometimes when I've been working for lo very large firms. Uh, you need to get permission to literally shit, let alone do a video. Some place will have an absolute, you know, they're going an anaphylactic shock if you mention you're doing a video because it's got to go through a team of lawyers. And it's like Mr. Miyagi said in Karate Kid, best block, no be there. And that's why I didn't do them a lot of the time. Well, now, uh, thankfully, as I'm officially I'm a freelancer, although I work for Kiosk Group, uh, that's why I get to work from home and stuff like that, you know, it means I still own what comes out of my head outside of work hours, it means I can still do these videos, and obviously, even though I've not been told, I make it very clear it's nothing to do with what I do for work. Uh, now, yes, you'll notice in the uh, videos at the moment that the renders all come out of V-Ray, but that's a very simple explanation, that I use V-Ray for work and I was using V-Ray for personal stuff before I was doing stuff for work um, and plus it doesn't really um, make much sense to have a second render engine just for these videos I've used just about every render engine on the planet at one time or another in production but um, it simplifies things um, it's taken me a while to set up my system now, so obviously I've got, you know, this is actually my recording mic for when I'm doing music, the condenser goes into the phantom power and stuff like that. Um, I've got all that set up properly. I've finally tracked down uh, the license for the screen capture software, which I've been looking for for six months, I knew it was on a drive somewhere. Um, so I'm all set up to go, which means now I can sit down, and if I have an idea for a video, I can record it fairly fast. But obviously I want to fit it in to... This, not syllabus sounds too official, but sort of the way it's going to go. Now, if anybody has any ideas of stuff they particularly like to see, just leave a comment. And if it's if it's practical, I'll do it. There's some stuff you know I would like to do, but I don't have uh, the footage or the assets currently, which I'm investigating. You know some of that, but hopefully it'll expand a bit. But as I said when I was pimping these out today, about half an hour ago, the if people pass the word around, great, but I don't want to be sitting here talking to a wall when I'm doing these things. If they're of no use to anybody, I will stop making them. Simple as that. So anyway, yeah, as you can see, I'm a little bit older. I need a haircut, which I'm going to have hopefully in the next hour or two. Louise is going to cut my hair. And um, you'll have no more walking around wobbly cams, because I've got a bit of arthritis now. And eight mile walks three times a week, not really very good for me, you know. But uh, yes, so you'll see a bit more of me on these videos as time goes on. Uh, I just want to say, you know, feels like the right time to make some more videos again. We'll see how we get on. Anyway, I hope you enjoy them. I hope you find them useful. Um, and as usual, I leave all the mistakes in. Anything that I cock up, I go and I rewind it and explain why I made the mistake. Because it means there's a good chance at least some of you are going to make the same one. Right, anyway, again, I'm William Robson. Bye-bye.